So, internal energy. So when we were looking at solids, liquids and gases, we were talking about the amount of energy you had to put in in order to get them to change state. Well, that energy has to go somewhere and it goes into the molecules. So it's an internal energy. And what we can talk about now is the two, we like to split internal energy out into two sections, okay? So when temperature is increasing, the type of energy that's been increased is the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy of the particles is how fast they're moving. And the other type of energy is their potential energy. And that is um, how far apart they are. Okay, and the internal energy, so we'll call this one KE, and we'll call this one PE. So internal energy, which we'll call IE. IE equals KE plus PE. So the sum of the internal energy is the amount of energy they have and how quickly they're moving and how much energy they have and how far apart they are. So let's relate that back to change of state that we were just doing previously. Okay, so if we look at the graph again of change of state, what we can see is we can see that here, look, the kinetic energy of the particles is increasing. So their internal energy is increasing because their kinetic energy is increasing. Now, when solids heat up, they also expand a little bit. So their potential, incre their potential energy is increasing a little bit as well. But the interesting bit is here, when it's changing state, because you can say that at that stage there, all of the energy is going into increasing the potential energy. kinetic energy is not increasing at all there, they're not moving any faster, the temperature is not going up, so the potential energy is increasing only there. Here, both potential energy and kinetic energy are increasing, but it's mostly kinetic energy that's increasing. And the amount of energy that it takes to change a state is called the latent energy. Okay, so energy needed to change state is called the latent energy and that could be the latent the latent um, heat of vaporization so how much energy you need to do it in order to turn it into a gas or it could be the latent heat of um, condensation to how much energy is given off when it condenses back down into a liquid. So it purely depends on which way you're going on your triangle as to what you're trying to do. If you are trying to go from a liquid to a gas, that would be the latent heat of evaporation that you need to put in. If it is from a liquid to a solid, it would be the latent heat of freezing or fusion that you need to put in, okay? Each time. It's just, and then if you go in the other way from a gas to a liquid, it's how much energy is released when it condenses. When it goes from a gas to a solid, how much energy is released when it condenses? How much energy is released when it goes from a solid to uh, from a, when it freezes? Okay, so each so it's either being given off or it's going in when it changes state. And the latent heat is how much energy is going in. And the name is just what change of state is currently happening.